Okay, I got the metal box to where I wanted it, and uh, I learned a lot. One of the things I learned is the smaller the box, the more accurate the bends have to be. Uh, you have to account for the bend of the material a lot more than when it's a bigger box. And uh, it's the same thing as when I showed you the toroid coils. I did a tiny toroid coil with the, using the, um, a shuttle tool to wind it versus the other people using a really large toroid coil and winding just three turns. See, a lot of people do videos, they do the simple stuff. I tend to say, well, let me show them something they've probably never seen before. Now, this part here was a nightmare. This, this had to be uh, smaller across, probably uh, twice the thickness of this metal, approximately. Same with the length. You have to subtract two thicknesses. See, when you roll metal over, um, it shrinks and it, ex it ex depending on the bend, it can shrink and it can expand in one direction, shrink in one direction and then expand in another, depending on your, your abilities to bend, to bend it, how sharp you can bend it. But I want to show you, inside here is the, uh, six to one um, reduction drive 30, uh, 360 picofarad cap. And that's the one I use for my uh, VFO. And I'll call it a CFO, uh, capacitive frequency oscillator, C CFO. And uh, that, that's the hardest part of, of making this whole thing is that capacitor. Now I did a video on this magic circle, how to lay it out how to measure it, and most capacitors made in the United States, it, within a certain era, a uh, certain amount of years, all have the same spacing. So I did a video on that, and right now I'm waiting for my, uh, my usage to reload. I get 100 gigabytes a month, so I've been doing videos and stacking them up. I can't link them together because uh, Microsoft uh, deleted my uh, editor. I like how they do that. See. There, there's always these little catches with Microsoft, and they want me now to load another one and learn how to use that one. I'm not into it. Uh, I'm into building my projects. I'm tired of wasting time uh, with Windows. Windows is, is a tool. It's not a hobby. And it's, it's basically, for a lot of people, it's a hobby. You spend time tweaking it and getting it just right. That's not what I wanted. I was a DOS man for many years. I finally switched to Windows. Because in DOS, I was writing booklets. I was doing illustrations. Never had a problem. When I switched to Windows, that's when all this stuff started going awry, as we say. But, you know, you can you can make a pretty decent box. I won't say this is, this is a good box. I won't say it's a great box. But it's going to suit my needs, building an oscillator in a metal box. Running the test with the lid off, running the test with the lid on, and running a test with a P, PT, uh, um, positive temperature coefficient um, thermistor, PTC. So I'll be able to do three experiments with the Franklin oscillator by building this. And that's what I do. I go the extra miles. It was not the extra mile anymore. It's the extra miles. And uh, that's funny. Uh, people still found out they can uh, they can make comments on the older videos and they'll still say uh, I, uh, I like your rants I have to uh, I have to put up with them and I rant because I realized at some point in my life that I was really doing the work and other people they 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 lie <laughs> and they send you off on these tangents and then uh, you find out that they lied to you and you you do the work just to find, you do the work and you find out what they told you uh, isn't true. It's like the one time my uh, father's brother was visiting him and my father wallpapered this room and my mother was at work and his brother's system, you're not going to wallpaper the ceiling? And my father says, what? He goes, oh, it's the latest thing. You've got to wallpaper the ceiling. Well, the brother claimed he knew how to do it. Well, my poor father, uh, the best he could ex explain it, it became like the Three Stooges. As you're rolling the, the uh, wallpaper on the ceiling, it's peeling down on the other side. See, 
you can do it, but you have to know how to make the, the pace set up fast. And if you don't have the correct pace, it's not going to work. So my father ended up having a ceiling full of, of uh, uh, wallpaper paste, his brother admitting to him that he had never done it before. And that's, 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 it. that's exactly the crooks of my, my disdain of people is they tell you, oh, it's simple. They never did it before. They might have seen it done or heard it was done. And now they're throwing it up to you. Now you start doing it. Then you realize they're not able to help you because they never did it. They were shooting from the hip. And I, I have worked in the company where the boss shot from the hip. And he missed every target he ever shot at. And it got very annoying. And finally, at some point, they fired him. But the, doing the work is, is, is hard. It is sort of rewarding when you finish something. But the thought of building something is exciting. And then the moment you finish it, in between, you start to gather the materials. And I told you, people gather stuff. They have a whole cellar full of stuff they gathered. They never finish the project. They never start the project. And I had them telling me how easy stuff was. Meanwhile, I only talk about what I'm actually doing. Uh, or I've, I just finished. And they're telling you about stuff they're going to do in their hereafter. My mother used to call it the hereafter. That's uh, because my father would constantly dream, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. He was going to walk across the United States. He was going to rent a houseboat. It was a bunch of these stories. And and I listened to him tell these stories. None of it, none of it ever happened. And he would be asking me something. I'd come, I'd, I'd come out of the car with my pieces of my bicycle, and he'd be asking me where I rode to. And I said, "Be honest with you, Dad. I just did 120 miles. I'm really tired. Uh, I went through the Pine Barrens. I followed the arrows that were on the street. They put these. They have a giant sponge in the shape of an arrow, and they drive along with the car, and they stamp these arrows with paint." And you're doing your ride. You may see some famous um, Russian Orthodox church down that way. And you might see um, cranberry bogs. Uh, there's a few things in the Pine Barrens as you're, you're in that area. And uh, that's about it. The rest is just trees and road. Trees and road. And then my father would bring up the fact he was going to walk across the United States. Now, here you picture me. I take my bike apart each time, put it inside the car. So I don't lose any parts. You know, if you're hanging on the outside and go 100 miles to the ride, it's possible something vibrates off. Where if you store it in the car, take the wheels off, put it inside the car, put it together when you get it there, it's more likely you're going to get there with all the parts. So I've just did 120 miles. I'm really tired. And my father brings up the story he's going to walk across the United States to me as I, after I've just done 120 miles uh, real time. And that's when I finally realized that the people around me were big bullshit artists. That's that's the only way to put it. And I, they would ask me what I'm doing, and I would tell them, I, I just finished this, and I explain it to them, and then they start telling me all their bullshit. And my friend Jim calls them dream operators in the train industry. And we met one, uh, I went with him to the train museum uh, two Sundays ago, and uh, we had one guy approach us. And he's talking to my friend, and then my friend asked him, you know, how big's your setup? Oh, I haven't set it up yet. And he's there with his family. And he, he doesn't want to be there with his family. He just wants to walk around, look at these trains, and make believe in his head he's going to get those trains, and he's going to set those trains up. Meanwhile, my friend sells trains. And I said to him, I, when he started asking me questions about my setup, I said, look, I'm here with this guy here. I said, he sells trains. He knows he knows all the different brands, all the different prices and the whole. So he started talking with the guy. But he was a dream operator. And uh, you get that in electronics, too. Uh, you get people that make comments, and then uh, they, they're, they're talking fantasies. And you just got done making the video. You, you finished the project. You did the video. And now they're throwing some fantasy at you. Well, I have this transmitter. I'm going to get to it. Yeah, you're not. No, you're not. You know, you don't know how the transmitter even works. You don't have a license. That, that's the stuff. That's why I closed my comments section. And uh, I always people I have to mention, I rant, but I'm trying to tell you people, you need to shut up. Show us what you built. Stop talking. You know, just do it. Remember Nike's uh, saying, just do it. I think that's it. All right, that's it.